Hi everyone. It is Tuesday, June, I believe, 27th. Wanted to hop on and give an update what's going on around here. I haven't had a video in quite some time. Wanted to show you that I had everything set up out here in the kitchen to give Mickey and Marley here a bath to groom them. And this morning we had an accident outside. Let me get these dogs out. Come on. As you can see here, Miggy is not here. Miggy is at the vet. We had to run in there this morning around Oh, what time was it? It's between 10.30 and 11. Look at the haze, you guys. The smoky haze from the wildfires up in Canada. It's terrible. It smells like campfire outside. Um, yeah, so my here's Kenton. He's been out here since this morning. <laughs> he loves being outside sleeping in that chair. Ooh, it's kind of misting out. It's misting out. Um... So, yeah, my husband was out here playing ball with Miggy, and Milo jumped in and was trying to get the ball from Miggy, and Miggy did his little twirls he does to get away from him and broke a toenail. Let me get out of this. It's just barely misting. I don't want to get all wet. Um, so, yeah, he was bleeding pretty good. He broke it right where the skin and the toenail are, right at the base there. His right pinky toenail, I guess you'd call it. And um, so called the vet. They said, bring him up, drop him off. We'll get to him. They said they had to put a tourniquet on it because it was bleeding so bad. Um, but they they got it done within about a half an hour after dropping him off. And um, they had to cut it all the way off down to the skin. Had to cut the blood vessel and nerves. Um, so he's going to be sore for a while. Um Oh my goodness. I've had Magnum and Marley both have a dew claw on one paw. It's like they grew back or something. And both of them have broken a dew claw um, in the past years. I think Magnum has a couple times. Marley did once. And um, not the same as when a, uh, the, the regular toenail breaks because boy did that thing bleed. So... Um, he's going to have to have it, a bandage on it for the next couple days. I got to keep it dry. Um, so, and then I got to take it off in two days, keep an eye on it, make sure there's no swelling, any kind of discharge, anything going on that looks like it's infected. They are sending him home with, um, pain meds for the next five days. She said it's going to be pretty tender. Um, so Yeah. <laughs> always something you guys and I know I know somebody said why is there always something going on with your dogs well I have seven I have seven dogs so the likelihood of something going on is pretty good <laughs> pretty good you ready to go in already okay yeah so gotta pick him up at 2 30 so I guess I'm not grooming today oh you knocked dad's shoe over um Guess I'm not going to be grooming dogs today. Uh, so I need to pick up the towels and put everything away. Yeah, we groomed you. We groomed Max. We got um, Mozzie done, Magnum done. So I was going to do Miggy and Marley today. And then start on Grant tomorrow. But, um, I mean, I still could do Marley today. But... It's so dark in the house, too, because it's so hazy out. It's smoky. Um, I'm going to have to give my attention to Miggy when I pick him up. So um, I'm just going to wait. You'll have to wait till tomorrow, Marley. And then I'll have to find out. Um, she said after I take off the bandage, he'll be okay to be outside. Um, and I won't have to worry about keeping it dry. So maybe... I'll be able to groom them after. I don't know. She said she shaved the paw really good. All the hair around there. So I'll be able to keep an eye on it. And make sure it's looking okay. So she might just say leave them alone for about a week or so. We'll see. 
See what happens. I wanted to get everybody done this week. <laughs> Grooming is my least favorite thing to do. Um, so I wanted to be done with it tomorrow. But, oh well. Um, things happen and you got to change your plans. Right, Max? We got to change our plans. So, um, wanted to give an update too in case you don't follow my Facebook page or the community page here on our YouTube uh, site. Um... Mozzie had his CT scan and they found no message, masses, sorry, I can't speak. They found no masses um, when they did the CT scan. She showed us the whole thing. Um, uh, but they did find some discoloration on the liver in two areas. One, um, one spot was pretty good size and then there was another little spot. Um, so we decided to go ahead and do a liver biopsy, which will be done on July 24th. She said it could be, she listed off a couple things it could be. And on my Facebook post and on my community page post here on YouTube, I mentioned about how the liver could be holding copper. Um, I don't know exactly what it's exactly called, but not getting rid of the copper. Um, that was just one thing she mentioned. She's not sure what it could be. So the only way to know exactly what it is and what's going on is to do a liver biopsy. It's a little one inch incision, she said, and they do it, is it called lapis, uh, it's with a scope, some kind of scope. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it. Um, and they'll go in, take a little piece and do a biopsy and then we'll know for sure. Because the problem is, I know a lot of people were sending me messages and questioning me about why we're doing the liver biopsy. Um, Mozzie also has Cushing's disease. Um, and we've got to be very careful on how we treat whatever's going on with his liver. Like I mentioned, usually when there's a liver issue, they'll give steroids, but they can't do that. He takes mycophenolate, um, but they can't give like prednisone, um, because then that will mess, mess up what's going on with his Cushing's disease. So we need to do the liver biopsy so we know exactly what we're dealing with. Um, so we decided to do it. And yes, it's very expensive. A lot of people pointed that out. Yes, it is. And I thank those who have graciously sent, um, donations to help us raise the money so we can help Mozzie. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Um, so, so we're going to go ahead with that on July 24th. Um, yeah, but otherwise Mozzie's doing good. Um, Grant is doing good. Let me show you Grant. He's in my room sleeping. Sorry for the lighting, how dark it is. There's Grant. Here, let me see. There's Grant. <laughs> he just, he'll, he goes in his crate more now, you guys. Ever since he doesn't have to have his visor on or that cone, he's been going in his crate more. Um, but sometimes he just likes to lay right there and go to sleep. So we just got to make sure. We walk around him and don't disturb him. Right, boys? Um, yeah, so so Grant's doing really good. Really good. I haven't had to have him on a leash at night. I think I mentioned I had a harness on him um, because I was having to leash him at night and walk him around the yard because he was having problems um, with the lights on the fence. It kind of, I think it like distorted things for him maybe a little bit. And he couldn't tell the fence was right there because the light was in his eye. But he's doing really good. He's had no problems since not having to wear the visor. Um, so I don't have to walk him around on a leash. He can be out there and just do what he's got to do. Um, what do you guys want? What do you guys want? You guys want a treat, don't you? I think that's what they're they're begging for. They're over here. They're over here <laughs> by where I keep their food. You guys want a couple pieces of kibble? You want a couple pieces of kibble? That's what I give them for treats because I can't, I'm not giving them um, the store-bought treats anymore. So um, due to when um, Mr. Grant and Miggy had pancreatitis. So, but it's... 12.30, so they're like, hey, it's time for a middle-of-the-day snack. <laughs> just a second, guys. Just a second. So, yeah, so Grant is doing wonderful. Um, 
Mozzie's doing good. Um, we just got to figure out what's going on with that liver and why those liver enzymes are high. When we did take them for the CT, CT scan, they did come down a thousand points. Not sure why. Um, so I'm sure they'll test his blood again before the liver biopsy. We'll see what's going on with those. Um, and poor Miggy. I'll take some video when I pick him up. Poor Miggy. I mean, he made the loudest, most horrible screech. I don't even want to call it a bark. It was just a cry. A cry. The most horrible cry when he, I heard him outside when he was playing. I was here in the kitchen. And I was like, oh my gosh, what happened? I go out, my husband's picking him up, his paws in the air, just blood. It was just terrible. I feel so bad for him. Um, so, he, <laughs> oh, like I said, it just seems like just things just won't just, just chill out a little bit around here. Just chill out. That's all I need. But just for like a month, just chill out for a month and let me breathe. <laughs> But yeah, I'll get some video when I pick him up and uh, let you see how he's doing. Let me get these boys some treats. All right, we just picked up Miggy. Here's his bandage on his toe toes. Poor Miggy. Poor baby. I feel so bad for you. You're not going to be able to run around and play for the next couple days. Poor baby. So, got his um, pain meds. They gave me this. Let me show you what they gave me to put on his foot to keep it dry. And I don't know if he'll walk around in it or not. We will see. They gave me this. It's like an old IV bag. <laughs> um, as you guys know, if you've been a viewer for a while, when Grant had his toe removed um, due to cancer, um, when he was all bandaged up, I used press and seal. Uh, and just wrap that around it and it kept it dry. So that's what I'm going to do with Miggy. Um, yeah. You ready to go home, Miggy? Poor guy. Poor guy. All right. We're going to go home and take care of Miggy and give him some extra lovings. All right. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.